Okay, so I was casually listening through t TV about a week or two ago, and the most weird thing happened. So I was listening through TV, and the movie Avatar was on. I just flipped through a second of it, and there was that scene where they're nuking the tree or whatever. Y you know, and you know, whole genocide and all that jazz. And then, one of the helicopter pilots says the S word, but they censor it, y you know, they quiet all the music down, so you can't hear what the person said. And all I could think to myself is, what? So anyway, then it got me thinking about weird censorship. Now, I'm not the first person in the multiverse to talk about this, and quite frankly, there's probably a lot more weird examples I could go into, but something that always bugged me is sometimes the arbitrary nature of what we censor. Now, granted, I'm a bit of a weird person, someone stuck in between the, oh, you don't need to show that, and, well, it's for everyone's choice, so, you know. But, I do feel it's weird when you go so far in one direction, but then don't do it in others, like, just in that mention I mentioned, how is it okay to show what amounts to genocide, but, you know, if you say a naughty word, then we have to censor that out. Like, what's the logic there? Like, you're like could you just be je burning down an entire village because someone drops the F-bomb, then we gotta censor that? Like, what kind of logic does that make? Another weird bit of this that I see occasionally is the whole, uh, well, like, <laughs> the character, like, if you watch reality TV shows like I occasionally do, then you'll know these weird moments where they'll say clearly a curse word, but then for some reason they'll just censor it out, but you clearly know what they just said. This happens a lot with the F word. And I'm just like, why bother censoring at that point? We all know what you said. This is presumably an adult show. Or at the very least, you know, older teen. So why the heck do you do this? It's weird. And it's, uh, I know it's because of TV ratings, but then why are they like this? It's bizarre. I mean, it's just weird. And uh, like, and there's other really weird examples of censorship. Mostly in the, like, another classic example of is how cartoons and things made for, like, well, I don't want to say kids, but, like, action stuff that's aimed at a young demographic or mid-demographic, whatever you call it, will often censor our blood or keep it very minimal, or just never show it usually, which makes no sense. Thoughts that, you know, someone spilling their guts out would probably not be appropriate for, you know, a kid's show. But kids see blood a fair bit. I mean, have you ever scraped your knee? So I don't understand why such a small thing like a cut or a, no or a nosebleed is such a almost non-existent cartoon show. So even the tiniest drop of it is just like, tree is this big deal. When in reality, it can happen for a lot of reasons. Now, granted, I'm a sin <laughs> on my you know, suggestion to be like, oh, Gus found his blood. That would be ridiculous. But it does kind of feel weird, as, I'm, as my sister pointed out, which is very true. It is kind of weird. Another classic example, well, not classic example, but something I always find hilarious is when this happens a lot where one thing is bad in the sense that we can't show how to censor it, but another thing isn't. For the example I will give for this case here is the new Powerpuff Girls show. I don't, I don't think I have to explain. Like they took out Miss Bellum, and then, then there was that scene with the, I don't, I the panda, and I, I don't like to talk about it. I don't want to get hunted down by the FBI. But that's not the point. The point is, is that that's just a weird example of what is and isn't okay. It's just bizarre, and. The, like, another example I thought was... No, I kinda get this one, but I still find it so hilarious I have to talk about it. Where, in, in case you don't know, Spongebob has a lot of creepy fanfics. Big surprise! But one of them, basically called Squid Suicide occasionally, was referenced actually in an episode of the show. Now, granted it was referenced in a kind of multiversal way, and it didn't directly reference the suicide part, more just the creepy image associated with it. I'll put up the screen here. But I thought it was a hilarious gag because it only made because it's a perfect, you know, if you know, you know kind of meme. You know what I mean? It's like it's all it's really funny if you if you don't get it, it's just kind of a creepy, kind of funny image. But if you know it, then it's funny. But that is just the weird, but like, then they replaced it with a baby squirrel, and that was lame. That's for lame-os. Lame. The original version. Now that's cool. But, 
it, it's like, but I kind of get why they did that one, but even then, even if some little kid was dedicated to figuring out what this meant, assuming that the kid somehow knew that that thing was, then, you know, it just, it, it's just weird and bizarre to me. And it, it's just one, like, what I'm trying to get at with all these points and references I'm making is that censorship is sometimes important. Now granted, when dealing with adults and real life issues, it should generally be downplayed to as minimum level as possible because I'm not a fan of censorship and I generally view it as bad, especially because once you give the power to censor things to people, it, you know, inevitably ends badly. Just ask Germany what happened in 1930. But, 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 and kids me, I kind of get it a bit more, but there's always been this weird desk, but like, once again, like even adult me is sometimes weirdly does it where we can have oh tons of violence and references and like that's another thing you see in centers with like reference sex or straight bring it up and then but you know i do this a lot with curse words like but it's like oh but if you say one naughty word we gotta sense that but everything else is okay like censorship is one of those extremely odd things i don't always get now maybe it's just because i don't get humanity always the best but it just never made sense of how it's done and the weirdly arbitrary ways it's done. Now, granted, people get. Now, I try to keep my content to, you know, a PG 13 or 16 up age range, roughly, on my videos. So that means, you know, I don't go into usually super stuff that could get me in trouble. But I like to expect a certain level of maturity from my audience. But I'm also a person that doesn't believe in over-maturing everything. Well, it has to be all 9 to the 10. It must be dark, gritty, and mature, 100%. Like, I, I once came up with this rule. And, you know, after basically being ref asked by, by my mother when I was talking about a, a dumb idea for a documentary I wanted to make when I was, like, 5. But I still hold on to that saying I made during when I was thinking about, about it. Is that when making a piece of media... Now, granted, I refined this over the years, so this is not the original wording of my saying, but I like it. When making a piece of media, it should be as mature as it needs to be to tell the story and get and get what you want to do with it, but no more. You shouldn't dumb down a story's age range to make it appeal to people who it's not by cutting content. Now, there's the bay in that, but bay is generally speaking. Don't make something for don't take something that's for older uh, kids or adults. And make it for kids um, just because they get a lower age rating. But that also applies in reverse. Don't take something that is in many ways a younger adult or kid story or something that's more lighthearted. And just add in mature elements just to make it edgy and adult. Like if, so, if your story doesn't need to have cussing in it. You don't need to add cussing in it just to make it adult. You know what I mean? You don't have to add adult things to make a story great, and you don't have to take adult things away or what your things to make a story good. It's all about what the story requires. And that's what my whole point of getting at here is, is just the hypocrisy of it occasionally, and how a story should be told for the maturity level and the mature themes of it that is necessary. Just, not every story has to be super mature, not every story has to be super kid friendly, and we live in a weird society that is constantly at odds, in my opinion, where on one hand, we live in a society where everything has to be mature and constantly talking about these mature, dark things constantly wherever you go. But on the other hand, we expect to coddle everybody with these weird safety blankets. It's like everything, like in my opinion, our whole society suffers from a everything looks mature and to some extent is. But really, it's just a bunch of kitty stuff, if that makes sense. I don't, I don't like the wording of that, but that's my, I guess, thesis of this whole thing, is that uh, I don't even know why I'm totally going with this stuff sometimes. This is just my thoughts as it you know, ends up. But generally, I'd say when making a story or telling a story or thinking about stories or how mature something be is just make it mature as it needs to be. No more, no less. And censorship is often kind of stupid, arbitrary, and I don't generally support it. So, um, yeah, hope you enjoyed this video. If you have any comments on what you, how you believe censorship in media should be used, or how it should be done, or just want to point out some weird examples of it, post it down in the comments. I'll see you next time. Until then, uh, don't be censored. Hey, why don't you hit that sub button? You're gonna become a subscribble. Get to see my content quicker. Wouldn't that be nice? I bet so.